See, before starting the double and triple integration, we must know some curves in R2. So in this video, we are going to discuss some standard curves in R2. So we'll start with a basic curve that is line. Okay. So when you have x is equal to 0, so this is equation of y axis. Okay. So you know, this is x axis, this is y axis. So its equation is x is equal to 0. When you have y is equal to 0, so this is equation of x axis. Okay. So equation of x axis is y is equal to 0, right? Next, x is equal to a. x is equal to a represents a line which parallel to y axis and it cuts x axis at point a, a comma 0. Okay. So I will mention a line parallel to y axis. Okay. So it will be a line parallel to y axis which cuts x axis at point this a comma 0, right? Next, y is equal to b. y is equal to b is an equation of line which is parallel to x-axis and passes through y is equal to b. So let me mention a line parallel to x-axis. Okay. So it will be a line parallel to x-axis passes through y is equal to b. That means this point will be 0 comma b. So this is y is equal to b and this is x is equal to a. So these are standard lines as well as when you have equation like this, x plus by is equal to c, this also represents a straight line, getting? So a simple logic, if power of x is 1 and power of y is also 1, then 101% this is equation of line. So power of x is 1, power of y is 1. So that's why it represents a line, okay? It will be like this, I don't know. So it will be like this. So this, this is a four standard curve line, okay? Make a screenshot of it. After that, we will go for circle. So the standard equation of circle is x square plus y square is equal to a square. This is equation of circle with center origin. Okay. What is its center origin? 0, 0. And its radius is a. So that means if you draw a circle like this. So this is x axis. This is y axis. Okay. So center origin and radius a. Circle will be like this. A comma 0 and the center is 0, 0. Getting, for example, when you have a circle like this, x square plus y square is equal to 9. So this is equation of circle with center origin and radius is 3, since 9 is 3 square. The standard equation of circle is x minus a square plus y minus b square is equal to r square. So this is the equation of circle with center, okay, with center a comma b and radius will be r okay that means this circle will be like this in xy plane suppose one point is here a comma b so the center of circle will be a comma b and its radius will be r so in this case this center of circle is origin but when you have an equation like this the center of circle will be a comma b and radius r make a screenshot of it after that we will go for parabola let us discuss parabolas now see when the power of one variable is 1 and power of second variable is 2, 101% it is parabola. For example, x is equal to y square. See, power of x is 1. As I told you, power of one variable is 1 and power of second variable is 2. It is a parabola. So, there are four standard parabolas. So, x is equal to y square minus x is equal to y square, y is equal to x square and minus y is equal to x square. So these are standard parabolas. Okay. So let us see how to draw these parabolas. Okay. So I'm showing here how to draw these parabolas. See, uh, consider x is equal to y square. Here power of x is 1. That means x is axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry. That means if you fold parabola like this, it will match. Okay. So what is axis of symmetry x since its power is 1 as well as it has plus sign. So that's why it is symmetric about positive x-axis, positive x-axis, getting? So it is symmetric about x-axis and it is symmetric about positive x-axis. That means that parabola opens in positive x-axis direction. In second equation, power of x is 1 again, getting? So axis of symmetry is x-axis, but it has minus sign. So that's why parabola opens in left-hand side direction. 
parabola will be like this. If you consider the next equation here, power of y is 1. That means axis of symmetry is y axis. But y has a plus sign. So that's why parabola will open in a positive y axis direction. It will be like this. Getting? And when you have equation like this here, power of y is 1. So that's why axis of symmetry is y axis. But y has a minus sign. So that's why parabola opens in downward direction. Okay. It will be like this. So these are four standard parabolas we have. Okay. Frequently we use this standard parabola. Sometimes these parabolas will be shifted. That means uh, maybe you will have parabola in this way also. It is simply shifted to uh, by some point. Okay. Otherwise the standard para parabolas are this one only. Make a screenshot of it. After that we will discuss ellipse. Let us discuss ellipse now. So standard equation is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1. So this is standard equation of ellipse. So I will draw ellipse will be like this. See a. So that means x intercept is a. So this ellipse cuts x axis at point a comma 0 and here minus a comma 0. And see y intercept is b. So that's why this ellipse cuts y axis at 0 comma b and 0 comma minus b. That means that ellipse will be like this. Okay, so in this way we get ellipse. Let us discuss one example. x square by 9 plus y square by 4 is equal to 1. So 9 is 3 square. So I can write x square by 3 square plus y square. 4 is 2 square, 2 square is equal to 1. So that means this ellipse having x intercept 3, x intercept 3, it will be here, 1, 2, 3, it will be here. And y intercept is 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So ellipse will be like this. So this is standard equation of ellipse. Okay, make a screenshot of it. After that, we will discuss hyperbola. See the standard equation of hyperbola like this one x square minus y square is equal to a or a square okay so minus sign is there in case of circle and ellipse we always have a plus sign between x square and y square but see here we have a minus sign so that hyperbola looks like this okay it looks like this so there is one more standard hyperbola that is x y is equal to a okay so we call it as a rectangular hyperbola and it looks like this okay rectangular hyperbola okay so now how the uh, the question is how to trace that hyperbola how to draw the di exact diagram of hyperbola just by finding out so few points on a hyperbola we can easily find this hyperbola okay so make a screenshot of it after that we will stop thank you bye bye